Welcome back to the Mullen Performance Audio Channel. Uh, I was just uh, out working on Buick, but as you can see, it's raining now. So I was trying to get the other um, other part of the wall up for the enclosure, and I was maybe 30 minutes into working, and uh, all of a sudden it started raining. So I ended up coming in here and doing this. Now, I probably already dropped a video yesterday for you guys uh, of me hooking this up with the equalizer. But since everybody lately has been breaking out their purple amps, I broke out my purple amp. Uh, this sucker's in really pretty bad shape. It's rusted out. This was underneath the seat of the Buick when I got the car. Uh, you could see pretty small amp. You know, I got like mid-size hands with sausage fingers here. But um, this, I had to look this up. This is all the information on the amp. Um, it was, it says it has a 10 amp fuse, but it's got a 15 in it right now. So somebody's blown the fuse at one time. It says it's the work between 11 and 16 volts, 85 signal to noise. Uh, let's see if it works. Because my big thing is that I hooked it up. And I turned on the power, and I turned it on. My power supply will go from 3 volts up to 24 volts. And it didn't kick on, but I only turned it up like 4 or 5 volts. And it never kicked on. So, uh, let's go. Let's kick this sucker on. We'll kick her up to... i got to be careful because, you know, I could easily drop 24 volts into an amp. Let's drop a 14.5 power. Where's power light? Power light. Whoop. Ooh. We got a power light. Sweet. Now I got this hooked up to channel one and two. And so I'll use this if it works. Um, let's see if it works, guys. I already got. Um, hold on here. I'm not quite prepared as well as I thought I was. So I got Big D's favorite song here. Hope he doesn't mind if I'm using it, but it was easy to find. I was going to compare it to the song from yesterday, but... Hey! That's all the way down. I got the phone turned about three quarters of the way up. by the lights once they get about as bright as you want them to get bright. You can still, these things, man, they put out so much air. In the video from yesterday, one of the channels on the EQ was not as loud because that speaker wasn't as loud as that one. It wasn't the speaker, it was the channel. That's some decent bass. Let's see how low we can turn this down. Ooh, you can hear it going down. Oh, six volts is about to cut off. Now this wouldn't be bad in a car, in the back deck of a car. I'm sure there's some guys that probably put these on the dash somewhere, which probably would be the best place for them, but you know they ended up in the back speaker deck of some 1970s car when these were made. This was just crammed in the trunk. they are. 
I'm going to say not bad for what it is, you know. All kicker setup. You could picture two of these in the back deck. You could picture maybe a set of, I don't know, six and a halfs in the front or something like that with this amp. And, uh, you know, guy would just run it full range back in the day. He'd probably turn the back ones down a little bit, turn the front ones up as far as it'd go, and have him a sound system. You guys got to understand, you know, a lot of cars, this is my 79 Malibu, a lot of cars back in the day, all they had was one speaker. This this car right here had a 4x10. This was the, the standard stereo for a Malibu back in the day, was a 4x10 plate speaker in here. And then if you were lucky, you got some speakers in the back deck, but that was like an option. Even a passenger side mirror was an option on this car. So you guys got it pretty lucky nowadays. When a mirror, a safety, a piece of safety for the car is an option. <laughs> you know, why do you need to just look over your shoulder? You know, that's all you gotta do, right? All right, guys, happy Labor Day. Hope you guys are having a great day. Um, Things are kind of starting to snowball for the channel, so I'm I'm starting to get uh, pretty excited uh, with the with the Patreons and you know thank you guys, Baba. I know you support a lot of guys. I don't know how you do it, man. It's appreciated, very appreciated. Uh, Jeff, thank you. You know, I I don't know who you are, but uh, you were the first one to jump aboard this crazy train of mine. So thank you, man. Uh. Got a couple other things in the works, too. Um, I, I really am going to do probably t-shirts and things like that. But, you know, it's just lots of irons in the fire right now. So, uh, you guys have a great day. I love you guys. Have a good one.